introduce to you the burner module for the 2016 portable heat injector. The gas is attached here with a simple quick disconnect, just like we always do. It's leak proof, snaps right on. The same controls are used on this unit as are used on the industrial unit. It's got the low gas pressure, the high gas pressure, dual valves, and something that's really quite unique, and that is that the gas modulation system. Some have thought that gas couldn't be modulated, but this actually allows the gas to be totally modulated to allow the discharge temperature to always be whatever you decide, whatever you set it at. It's continuously monitored and controlled so that you'd always get the desired discharge temperature. In addition to that, there's an igniter on here that actually directly sparks the uh, ignition and it's tied into the flame management system which is in the base module. The, the burner box for this modular unit communicates to the base module by with these simple connections. The electrical connection is actually plugged into the top of the control panel with this. We got these clips to make these things snap on to the, this carrier. This is the uh, connection for the thermocouple and it would actually be plugged right into the top of the control panel. These are actually stored right there so they're easy to move out of the way. These actually come off here and they actually also plug right into the top of the control panel. They're, they're actually just stored up here so that when you go to move them, they're out of the way. In addition to these, there is a flame rod cable that actually you pull off the top of the control panel when you lift the lid and it attaches right here to the actual flame rod which looks like a spark plug so that it would actually be able to communicate to the control panel that there is indeed flame. I'd like to introduce to you the base module for the portable heat injector system. It actually is very simple. You simply uh, plug it into any 20, 120 volt outlet. As soon as you plug it in, the power light will come on here to operate it. You simply turn on the airflow. You adjust the airflow if, to uh, usually maximum air speed. You turn the heat on. It'll actually tell you what the air intake temperature is. It'll tell you what the discharge temperature is and what the set point is. And uh, it has an hour meter so you'll be able to know how many hours you have into the heat treatment. You'll see that there's this connection here. This is the bottom hands-free connection that interfaces between the, blower, the base module and the blower module. Through this connection, we are transmitting all the electrical power for the motor and the high temp limit, the pneumatics for the HP boost and the main airflow blower, as well as the thermocouple for the discharge temperature sensor. You also see these pegs that stick out. These are dual purpose. These actually act as a kickstand and a, an alignment tool that connects the base with the blower. So once they fully insert into the blower module, we have pull pins that you insert here, and there's another one a little higher that makes that connection very sturdy while this is guided into its place. Here, these are also lifting straps that allow two people to move this up and down the stairs very easily. There's handles up top that allow the first person to be a couple steps higher that they can just lift it and allows it to be wheeled around on the incline that, uh, that we have here. Let's go ahead and move it. Ready? I don't he's, know. He's got okay. I'd like to introduce to you the blower module for the portable heat injector system. The, the blower module is an industrial blower that actually is designed to push air against a static load. We actually sense the discharge temperature right here with a the thermocouple that's tied back to this uh, control. And we also sense the duct pressure. This is the pneumatic line that goes back over. This is actually a one and a half horsepower uh, one and a half horsepower motor, it's three phase motor, and you'll also see the high temp limit that actually is sensing this discharge temperature all the time. It's an automatic reset, so if it ever gets too hot, shuts the heat off until it cools back down. One cool feature about this modular blower module is that we designed it 
so that the blower can be disconnected. There's a quick connection for the uh, motor. The motor, and then you pull the belt off there, and then now with a handle on the motor, you can actually walk this to wherever you want to reassemble and uh, deduct probably about 37 pounds. It makes it much easier to be able to handle. There are these, uh, the same uh, switches, or the same controls that we have can actually be put in on this side and on that side to make it so that the blower module can easily be moved. With the motor removed, you're going to be able to see this connection at the bottom. This is the connection that mates up to the bottom of the base module that transmits the main power for the motor, the high temp limit, the pneumatics for the main airflow blower and for the HP boost, as well as the thermocouple, as Dave mentioned up here. You're also going to notice this, this rod. This is what current heat injector, no, in heat injector owners know as the modulated air inlet damper. So as you pull it, this door is going to actuate and allow air to move through the base module, through the grate, into the heat chamber where then it can be inject, injected as a positive pressure. So it will open like this and it'll pull in the fresh air, additional fresh air to pressurize. Once the heat, once the environment has reached 120, that's when you'll start to put in positive pressure that will actually push the heat through all the cracks and crevices in the house. Let's go ahead and move it, Kevin. Okay. You can take this in. We'll just go ahead and 